It's been a very busy week plus in the IANA project. Let's go ahead and get into what's new. And I should note that I mentioned I had an IANA database that I wasn't using, but we've there's been so much activity, so much sprawl. We've now passed the tipping point. So I took all the data, threw it into a database, and I'm going to basically treat this project the same as I do uh, the Pilot Flying J project because we're to the point now where there's enough activity in order to justify that. Phoenix, Arizona, or Tempe, has been spotted with preliminary signs of construction starting. Over here in Chino, California, there's a site spotted with permitting, no construction occurring. Up here in Everett, Washington, similarly, a site spotted through permitting, but no construction. Up here in Minneapolis, a place called uh, Blaine has been spotted under permitting and is going to the Planning Commission. We know that that's the case there. Over in Portsmouth, is it Portsmouth? or Port Smith, uh, New Hampshire. Anyway, there are preliminary signs of construction, and really all it looks like, it kind of looks like graffiti. <laughs> There's just a couple of parking spaces that have the letters EV spray-painted in front of them. And uh, right now, I'm going to assume that that's valid uh, signs of early uh, construction occurring, or at least preliminary markings. Um, over here in my hometown of Concord, North Carolina, spotted through permitting is a new site, and it's 16 stalls, very large. Last week, IANA published into LinkedIn is where I picked it up, three locations. This one here in Bellin, New Mexico, uh, Louisville, Texas, and Valdosta, Georgia. All of them are uh, rechargery relays. This is what it looks like in table form for the new this update. I'll pause here for a second. A couple of things to note. I've marked uh, whether or not there's a known canopy and this will change as time goes on in early phases of construction. If we can't confirm it, I don't mark it. This column over here indicates whether or not it's under construction or not. And this column here indicates whether or not it's open or not. And then whether or not it's near an interstate because IANA splits their rechargeries between interstate rechargeries and local rechargeries. And so that's the indicator there. These are the ones that are currently open, comprehensive, comprehensive of the entire data set, not new this update. Pause here for a second. These are the ones that we know that construction has started. And again, I will pause here for a second. A couple things to point out. Huber Heights is known to be stalled, but it is under construction. And the type, either being a rechargery, rechargery relay, um, or a rechargery at. And if there's a rechargery at, I denote what the partner is. Uh, so in this case, it's sheets. These are the ones that are known, but not started yet with the similar type of methodology used. Uh, canopy, whether it's near an interstate, the type of rechargery, and you'll notice in this case, there's several that are blank because we just don't know. It's too early for us to make a call one way or the other of what type of rechargery it is. And again, I will pause here for a second. And these are the different types of rechargeries from the IANA website. So the different buckets that we know of are the rechargery relays, which are the smallest ones, basically just plopped into some convenient location that they partner with an individual local um, business owner, uh, whether it be a hotel, a restaurant, a strip mall, or a convenience store operator. The rechargery at are the larger uh, C-store operators for instance, Sheets and Wawa. And then the rechargery are the ones where they actually own the property and build a facility on their own or refurbish one that is already on property. Rechargery beacons are the ones yet to be shown examples of that are said to be very large, like the flagship locations of other CPOs. I'm gonna roll the slide deck of all the canopy locations, open, spotted under construction, as well as any canopy location that we have permitting documents from. Thanks for watching.